Today we're heading to Standard to see if any mythic players on Magic Arena can beat our undefeated $35 Mono White Soldier deck. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Seth Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. So this week, we have an absurd deck. We're playing $35 Mono White Soldiers in Standard, and fun little story about this deck. So last weekend, I was watching all the RCQs or regional championships, whatever they call them now. So I was watching them, and I was like, all right, I got to work on a budget deck. I want to play Soldiers. Let's see how cheap we can make a Soldier deck. So I made this $35 Mono White Soldier deck, and as I was watching all the Pioneer tournaments, I was playing matches, and the deck just kept winning and winning and winning. And next thing I know, the deck went from the bottom of diamond all the way up to mythic without dropping a single game. And that's the deck we're playing today. A $35 deck that is that mythic now and maybe accidentally broke standard. So let's talk about the deck. Jump into some games, see $35 mono white soldiers in action. So we got two big soldier payoffs in our deck. Valiant veteran, soldier lord, occasionally grows our team from the graveyard later. Siege veteran, basically Luminarch Aspire for one more mana, but a big upside in soldiers that when a soldier dies, uh, other than siege veteran, as long as it's not a token, we get a one, one colorless soldier artifact creature token. So it's essentially an expensive Luminarch Aspire that is also removal per protection for our soldier deck. So these are the two big pushes to put a bunch of soldiers in our deck. We also have some really good soldiers. Recruitment Officer and Gavany Dawnguard, uh, Dawnguard, maybe my favorite card in this deck, are our card advantage soldiers. Even though we are essentially a white weenie deck, the deck actually draws a ton of cards. Recruitment Officer, four mana digs through our deck to grab any of our creatures. So we get 30 creatures, all of them cost three mana or less. And then Gavany Dawnguard, kind of the same thing, but it triggers when day becomes night. And it's a three mana three through with board one, which is actually a fine buy. Body. Then we have kind of our filler soldiers, I guess. Yotan Frontliner, Resolute Reinforcements, just add soldier bodies to the battlefield. Resolute Reinforcements, pretty sweet with like Gavany Dawn Guard. We can uh, wait and not cast anything during our turn and then flash in Resolute Reinforcements. Plus it just adds two soldier bodies to the battlefield to work with our Lords. Then we have I guess our Disruption Soldiers, Thalia slows down spell decks, Brutal Cathar, probably our best removal spell, I sometimes get multiple things with the flipping back and forth flash pan, and then Valorous Dance, removal for stuff like Shield Rid, that also can protect a creature from a removal spell, and then our final big payoff, Kayla's Reconstruction, our bad standard collected company, is actually kind of absurd in this deck. As I mentioned before, we got 30 creatures that cost three or less mana, so odds are we're gonna hit at least two, or maybe three, or maybe even four creatures with Kayla's Reconstruction if we spend enough mana on it. So this is kind of our finisher. It's our way to rebuild after a wrath. And it is incredibly powerful, just dumping a ton of our best cards into play. Mana base, a bunch of planes, Mishra's Foundry. Nice to have a creature land uh, to fight through sweepers. Good when things go wrong. And then in our sideboard, a couple more soldiers for customization. Cathar Commando, good for blowing up artifacts and enchantments. Gavany Dawn Guard, good for grinding with removal heavy decks. Some Graveyard Hate, a bunch more creature protection, some more removal. And one of the things I love about this deck is Pretty much all of our removal spells are also creature protection. We got a bunch of Valorous dances, which kill things, but can also save one of our creatures, touch the spirit realms, exiles things, but can also channel to flicker one of our creatures, save it from a removal spell. So a lot of flexibility with the removal, and that is $35 Mono White Soldiers. That's our budget magic deck for this week. So how busted is this $35 deck? Can it actually compete with all the crazy expensive decks in standard at Mythic on Magic Arena? Can we keep our undefeated streak going? Let's find out. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Do you want to put this deck together for yourself? Well, you can get all the soldiers you need from our awesome sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash MTG Goldfish. Budget magic time. We are playing $35 soldiers at Mythic. We got somehow got Mythic with a $35 deck. This deck, eh, well, well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm always nervous. <laughs> I feel like my record gets way worse when I'm recording. About it, swap and evolve sleeper. This hand is <clears throat> super land heavy, except hopefully we can flood into Kayla's reconstruction. And our opponent did some mulliganing. Opponent uh, combat gets and hits us. Recruitment officer can also draw cards eventually. Would be really nice to draw something we could cast this turn though. If we just whiff, <laughs> well, I mean, technically. <laughs> Technically, that's a card we can cast. Uh, no attacks. 
We're gonna need this reconstruction to be good. Uh, attacks. Ooh, opponent passes. Gavany Darnguard is actually pretty decent here. Yeah, let's play that. I mean, this Guard's gonna punish our opponent if they can't play a spell here. And we'll see what we draw. We can just reconstruction next turn X2 like a bad Coco. If we whiff, we can wait one more turn. We'll see. If we draw something good, we can wait one more turn. If we don't, then we definitely have to just run it out. All right, opponent, Gix. Block. All right, let's, let's Valiant Veteran. Uh, pass the turn. Next turn, we're going for a huge reconstruction. Please don't duress us. Doesn't this Dawn Guard get him? I guess they can kill the Valiant Veteran and trade, but is that even good? All right, so they kill the Valiant Veteran. We trade with Gix. Opponent passes. X3 is probably, probably good enough. Yeah, let's do it. One, two, three. Kayla's reconstruction. We need some goodies. Well, okay. That's not the, that's not the worst. We didn't hit any lords, but we got a bunch of bodies. And we got a bunch of stuff that can draw us cards. And we can Valiant Veteran, potentially, to grow the team. Boat it. Transmogrin's Crown. And passes. Play the land. This becomes what a... 3-3 three, three Death Toucher. Let's just pass and go card advantage here. So we get to flip the Dawn Guard. Whiff, unfortunately. Flesh Gorger, sure. I mean, I think we're in fine shape here. Whiffing, though, on the Gondar, Gon, Dawn Guard does hurt. Passes. Well, let's go digging. Barutel Katha. Untap. Let's... Brutal Cathar and Thalia. Pass the turn, flip again, get rid of a Valve Sleeper, get a Valiant Veteran. Okay, we're getting to the point where our deck's just going to overwhelm our opponent, I think, hopefully. Yeah, opponent, done, done, done. All right, that was not the most aggro start, but it worked. Commando to kill Flesh Gorger seems, seems worth it. And we saw the Transmogrin's Crown. Valorous Stance is pretty good. Go down a couple Frontliners. Go down <sighs> one Thalia, one Reinforcements. Oh, I really want another Dawn Guard. Maybe we go three Valorous Stances. Maybe that's good enough. Something like that. Actually, you know what? Let's go down one more Frontliner. Let's run it like that. All right, well, I mean, that went pretty well not the most explosive game with our opponent scooping at 20 but one of the cool things about this deck is it's aggro but as you saw there because of the dawn guards and whatnot it can also play the long game surprisingly well well frontliner go opponent land transmogrin's crown well land and thalia this is a nice little aggro hand. We might be able to get like the aggro tempo win with this double brutal Cathar. Like if our opponent plays a creature and we just answer it. Ooh, all right, uh, well, new plan. In that case, we'll just go attack and smack ya. Leave up Valorous Dance Resolute Reinforcements. Pound it down to 15, land. All right, that works. Well, reinforcements have arrived. So many brutal Cathars, well, get in hit ya. Don't really want to run out Brutal Cathars <laughs> with no creatures on the battlefield. Found at Mishra's Foundry. Shield Red. I guess drawing lands is actually not bad here. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of the Shield Red. Hit you for two down to 11. I mean, we haven't drawn any Lords either. About it. Land. Soren the Mirthless. Mags a Vampire. I mean, I think this is fine, right? We. Flash in, we flash in Commando, we untap, we Brutal Cathar the Vampire, hit our opponent, kill the Sorin. All right, opponent's down to eight, Sorin's gone. Opponent needs another Wrath here, and even if they have it, like our hand's pretty good. Foundries are not great on defense. Wow, you're getting, okay, Misery Shadow, sure. And, e equips. Ooh, there's a foundry. Do we just all out attack? I mean, I guess we brutal Cathar. Get rid of the misery shadow. Attack with everything. There are ways we get blown out here. Opponent. If they're just gonna block with foundry, that's fine. 
That is fine. So Bony can trade with something. Trades with Commando. We'll just let it go. Oh, do we recruitment officer? I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> we saw the negative two, negative two thing. We don't want to overextend into another malicious malfunction. Passes. Wow, double flip. That's bad for our opponent. How do we attack here? Oh, I'm nervous about it getting blown out. I think it's fine. Tag with everything. I mean, if our opponent has removal, they have to pay ward three anyway. So I think they still lose from this, right? So I have to pay three, they go to one. Yeah, I mean, it just, we. I guess we could have run out the Valiant Veteran, but it just, it really doesn't matter. I don't think there's any way for our opponent to survive that. So, well, all right, well, <laughs> the wins keep coming for $35 soldiers, even a Mythic, taking down Mono Black. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Budget magic time. We are playing some more $35 Mono White soldiers in our new standard format and uh see what our opponent's up to yeah this is fine no one drop but we got some removals the opponent ash not all right land go Ooh, is this sack sack is actually a tough matchup i mean i think we can still beat it but it is a tough matchup opponent gets in hits us yeah we can play the foundry foundry thalia see if we can slow our opponent down a little bit here double brutal cathar is nice and once Thalia dies, we can probably reload with this re oh, main phase bank busting. About it. Passes. Wow, all the brutal cathars. Well, all right. Siege veteran. Counter on Thalia. Hit you with Thalia. Down to 17. You don't really want a brutal cathar and Ash Nod when something like Shieldred is probably going to be coming at some point. Liliana. Hmm. What are we sacking here is the question. So if we sack this, we get a token. Let's keep the Siege Veteran. I think I think we just get the token and then probably Brutal Cathar the Ash Nod. Kill Liliana, hit our opponent. And we can grow the Brutal Cathar so it doesn't get cut down. I think that's the, the game plan. Another, and this also turns on the reconstruction sooner. So Brutal Cathar. Get rid of the Ash Nod. Grow the Brutal Cathar, kill Liliana, hit our opponent. The only downside to this is it does mean Invoke Despair could be a thing, although we got a token to sacrifice. A bonnet, land. All right, go for the throat. Sure, we get another token. Zatchan's not looking that scary. And Misery's Shadow. A bonnet passes. I'll play the planes, play the Brutal Cathar. Get rid of the shadow. All right, opponent's gonna crew the bank buster. That's fine. It does mean we don't get to attack this turn, but whatever. Grow the Brutal Cathar, pass the turn. I think the plan is next turn to have a really good reconstruction. We can go X3. All right, there's the Invoke Despair. Down to 15, opponent draws a couple of cards. Passes. Oh, I think it's better to wait. So we Brutal Cathar that. Let's. Play the land. They could be playing duress. Some of these decks do have duress. Yeah, let's let's just reconstruct. Reconstruction X3. Double Gavany Dawn, Dawn Guard. Grow the soldier. Oh, not the best reconstruction. Only two creatures. Opponent, tenacious underdog. Tenacious underdog. Well, I mean, if we get a chance, we'll just pass and double Dawn Guard. Play the land. Brutal Cathar. Oh, they can just crew. All right, no attacks. Do you have removal? All right, so opponent draws a card, but we get to double flip these Dawn Guards, which is huge. All right, Dawn Guards doing work. Hopefully. Siege Veteran. Resolute Reinforcements. We do need to start getting in attacks at some point. Opponent draws our last card. Another shadow passes. Well, all right, run out the reinforcements. Untap. Ooh, Valor Stance is kind of sweet. All right, so, oh, that's actually a great draw. One, two, three, Siege Veteran. Number two, Frontliner. Trigger, trigger. Reinforcements, reinforcements. So we're just gonna pass now. We're gonna pass and do some uh, some flipping. No attacks. This is so good. All right, triple flip. Brutal Cathar, go after the Misery Shadow. Dawn Guards, what do you find us? Reinforcements. 
Dawn Guard is so good. And Valiant Veteran. I mean, we're we're about set up for the Alpha Strike, I think. And opponent, yeah, opponent sees it coming. I mean, we just kind of overwhelm him. Dawn Guard, so much value. Card's so underrated. It's so underrated. It's so good. We're on the draw this game. I think we'll go down to reinforcements. We'll go down one Thalia. We'll go down two frontliners. We'll go up. Valor Stance. Cathar Commando. And a Dawn Guard. Wouldn't mind to touch the Spirit Realm. Do we want to go down to Reconstruction? Yeah, let's go down one reconstruction for a touch the spirit realm. One of the things I really like about this deck is if you look at our removal package, it's either a tribe member uh, in Brutal Cathar or it's also creature protection. Valor Stance, Indestructibility, touch the spirit realm, can blink one of our things. I really love the, the flexibility of the removal this deck has access to. All right, opponents on the play. Mono Black first $35 Mono White Soldiers. Can we keep it going? Well, okay, we're not keeping that one. This is a fine, a fine six. I'm really tempted to just put a planes to the bottom. Are we gonna get punished for that? Yeah, all right, we'll, we'll be fine. We're on the draw, we'll be fine. <laughs> About it. Okay, but reckon a raid. All right, that's not, oh, watch us actually get punished because we don't draw land bonus. It just drains us. Blast zone and ash nod. Oh dear, it's happening. It's happening! The punishment opponent gonna flip. Goes to combat attacks. Down to 17. Well, run out the commando. Would really like to draw land here. That would be super helpful. All right, opponent has a cut down. Well, lander bust, I guess. All right, another commando. Oh, oh, this is so awkward. This is exactly what we talked about, the potential of getting punished by putting that land to the bottom. Well, maybe we were too greedy. Opponent, Fraxian Flesh Gorger, sure. Attacks. Well, all right, run out the commando. All right, pass the turn. <laughs> all right, yeah. The punishment has arrived. Opponent, there's the shieldred. Well, we will block an Ashnod. Kill the flesh gorger. Take the take the three. Drop to nine. Kill the shieldred. Oh no. All right. Well, yeah, this one is now over. All right. Well, I guess we shouldn't have put that land at the bottom. Honestly, I think I would do it again if it came down to it, but maybe that is incorrect. All right, let's go back up a resolute reinforcements. Run it like that. All right, so we're on the play this game. We will not put our third land at the bottom. Actually, I probably would. If we're presented with that same hand on the mulligan, I think I would do the same thing. I think it's more just unfortunate on the draw that we never drew our third land. Oh boy, okay. Well, this hand is not super exciting just because it, this is the opposite of the last game. Super land heavy, but we will see. Recruitment officer go. We do have Mishra's Foundries for days, which is something at least. A way to get value out of our land's opponent. Okay, but re reckon a raid. Opponent, gonna drain us. Land. Misery Shadow. Opponent passes. Well, play the land, go to combat, attack, opponent, gonna take it. Well, run out the down guard. Pass the turn, pass the turn, opponent flips. Hopefully the dawn guard lives. Opponent land. It is expensive to kill at least. If we get to untap with it though, we can protect it with these valorous dances. All right, opponent's gonna spend their turn going for the throat. Hits us for two. Oh, well, sure as phone, no. Oh no, the flood is on. This is the nightmare. So our opponent gets to get in and draw a bunch of cards. Oh, this is so bad. Yeah, I mean, we cannot do anything about this. Opponent pumps, but not enough for it to matter. Recruitment officer, siege veteran. We are so far behind though. Gets to draw a bunch of cards. Another land, all right, siege veteran. Grow recruitment officer. I think though we're just, I think we're just dead here. Oh no. The mana screw into the mana flood for our deck's first ever defeat. And they have invoked despair, yeah. 
Well, opponent draws a bunch of cards, goes to combat. Opponent's like has played around uh, these Valor stances very well. I guess we gotta draw Kayla's Brutal Cathar. I mean, Brutal Cathar is not bad, but it's not enough. It doesn't even trigger here. Oh my goodness, the nightmare. Yeah, GG. Budget magic time. We are playing some $35 Mono White Soldiers in standard. Let's see what our opponent's up to. Junding, eh? Well, in that case, I guess we uh, run out this Thalia, slow things down a smidge. Opponent oh, tap land. Well, uh, play the land. I think we just get in with Thalia here and reinforcements into the Lord. Opponent oh, land. Phyrexian Flesh Gorge. Huh? Well, all right, play the reinforcements. Play the land. Valiant Vatrid. One thing that is kind of awkward is why we can answer the Flesh Gorger with Brutal Cathar. If they kill the Brutal Cathar, they get it back fully powered, which is annoying. So I think we're mostly trying to race it, honestly. Soul Transfer the Valiant Veteran. Okay. Passes. Well, I guess we're passing the turn. Really don't want to Brutal Cathar this if we can help it. Shield red. I mean, that's pretty safe to Brutal Cathar. Wow, opponent's gonna go attacking, okay. Well, Resolute Reinforcements. Yeah, I think we let Thalia go. It's gonna make it easier to reconstruct here. All right, play the land, get drained. Mishra's Foundry. Are we just Brutal Catharing? Probably. Yeah, let's Brutal Cathar. Get rid of Shield Red. Hit you for three. All right, put us down to 15. Well, next turn we can reconstruct. Oh, wow. Okay, thank you, opponent. Tribute to Herobie. Spicy. Opponent pat. Oh, and we draw the land. Okay, land. Reconstruction X3. Be good. Be good, bad Coco. Opponent. All right, that's interesting timing. Oh, not bad. So we get the Brutal Cathar back. We get another reinforcements. We get rid of the Shieldred again. We put a counter on the Brutal Cathar. Hit our opponent for a bunch. All right, opponent gives us another rat. Thank you very much. And Fable the Mirror Breaker, good card. Not sure it's enough. Cause we have a no, oh my God. All right, well, uh, land, reconstruction X4. Going all the way. Reconstruction, oh my goodness. One, two, three, four. Counter on resolute reinforcements. Big attack. Found it. Has removal, okay. I mean, this keeps our opponent alive and gains them some life. Does it win them the game? So opponent blocks and blocks. Drops to six. The fact that they get to draw with this Fable the Mirror Breaker gives our opponent some hope. Because they're going to go back up to 12, and they get to flip their saga to get the tapped rats. Maybe, maybe this will be enough for our opponent. They do have a board now. Discards a Liliana, draws a card. That last uh, Kalos Reconstruction was pretty bad. Three one drops in a Thalia. We didn't come anywhere near getting our mana worth. So, I mean, we did get four creatures, which is nice, but wow, that is about as bad as it gets. Opponent wants a treasure, gets in. We'll kill the goblin. Soul transfers the Siege Veteran and then replays the Flesh Scorcher. All right. I think that's enough to keep our opponent alive here unless we draw, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, all right. Uh, recruitment officer, get a Valiant Veteran. Play the Valiant Veteran. Oh, so opponent's at 13. They block our three biggest things, which is one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, we got it, okay. Attack with everything. I think this is right. So pump things to a three, three, pump things to a three, three. Pretty sure it's good enough. So opponent blocks a three, three, they block a three, three, they block a three, three, they go up to 13. They still take enough. Oh my goodness, okay. That got a little bit sketchy there, but we pulled it out in the end. The Valiant Veteran off the Recruitment Officer. Oh, good enough. Good enough. Oh, thank goodness.
All right. Well, that was a scary one, but we got there. What do we want against this deck? So this is like a pretty mid rangey Lots of soul transfers. Let's go touch the spirit realm. We also saw Liliana. Go down a frontliner. Go down a reconstruction. Go down one Thalia, one reinforcements. Commando in. Commando in. Valorous stance in. Dawn Guard in? Yeah, let's try it like that. Well, we're up a game. We got there. <laughs> it got sketchy at the end, but we managed to uh to just barely recruit our way to a victory. I like this hand. We don't have any payoffs, but a nice little a nice little aggro-y hand. Recruitment officer. Go. Opponent. Land. Well, land, go to combat, hit you for two. Ship the turn. Land for our opponent. Thran Spider, interesting. Okay. Resolute reinforcements. Power stones for everyone. Play the factory. Brutal Cathar the Spider. Hit you down to 15. We can use the, the power stones with recruitment officer. I think that's the one way we have to take advantage of a power stone, another spider. All right, spiders for days. Maybe we just pass and flip. Our entire hand has flash. Yeah, let's play a, a foundry. Yeah, opponent, you survived the turn. Flip our moon rage brute. Okay, so... Valorous stance, the moon rage brute. Recruitment officer go digging. I mean, I guess Valiant Veteran. So stuff dies. Opponent passes. We would like to flip. Actually, do we even need to flip? Does that matter? Oddly, I actually think we just pass again. We still have a bunch of flash stuff. Okay, so that gets rid of the brute, makes another spider. I mean, this is kind of working for our opponent, I think. All right, take the beats, down to 18. <laughs> Another Thran Spider. All right, so Spider Tribal. Looking decent for our opponent here. Maybe decent enough. Now we untap. We draw nothing. Play Brutal Cathar. Get rid of a Spider. Play Valiant Veteran. I'm sure our opponent's ramping into something huge here, though. What a what an interesting draw for our opponent. I mean, if they have artifacts, they have all the mana. Soul transfer to get rid of the Lord. Passes. We need to draw something. I'll play Valiant Veteran. Fire up the Foundry. Do some attacking. Opponent blocks. Well, we will pump. Opponent goes to five, past the turn. Can we close it out? Opponent, hold, hold. Oh my God, another brotherhood set, okay. Sweeper number million, opponent. Those spiders though. I'll play a siege veteran. Turn on Mishra's Foundry. Go to combat, put a counter on it. Go attacking. Opponent blocks. We pump. I mean, these foundries are doing some work. The foundries are doing some work. Those are the cards that are giving us a shot here. Please stop killing our stuff. Riveteer's charm, okay. Land. Well, go, go foundries, I guess. Oh my goodness, the flood continues. Okay, one, two. Turn on the foundry. I mean, this does force our opponent to block, unless they have a, unless this last card is a removal spell. Blocks. Well, we will pump. Opponent, top four, looking for an artifact. What do they find? Another spider, okay. Well, pass the turn. The spidering never ends. Opponent, land. Spider again. And shield rid. That's a good one for our opponent. Will we ever draw anything? Siege veteran. Well, play siege veteran. Fire up the foundry. Put a counter on the foundry. Opponent blocks. 
We pump. <laughs> Play another land past the turn. Opponent gets to gain two. What do they find this turn? Oh, this has been such a ridiculously close game. Passing. We get drained. Oh no! Oh no, oh no. Wow, have we drawn a lot of nothing. A lot, a lot of nothing. Well, fire up the foundry. So we don't have lethal no matter what, right? Counter on the foundry. Opponent blocks. Well, I mean, we pump. I assume this means our opponent drew removal. All right, so opponent top deck removal. Gains a bunch of life. All right, how about how about us top decking something at some point? Our opponent whiffing for a turn would also be fine. Opponents all the way back up to 15. Top decks even more removal. All right, well, we're gonna have to draw something or we're gonna die to Shieldred. We've been drawing lands, opponent been drawing heaters. Gavany Dawnguard. Gavany Dawnguard is a good card, but I'm not sure it's good enough with how badly we've run here. Pass the turn, opponent untaps. Gain some life with Shieldred. Passes. We draw even more lands. Pass the turn. Yeah, I think it's over. Wow, what a brutal loss. Double brothers at end for our opponent, really coming through. Along with, I mean, our opponent going back-to-back uh, -back removal spells when we drew back-to-back -back lands. Back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back removal spells. Okay, fair enough. Well, opponent's uh, got some weird cards. That's for sure. Good news is we're on the play for game number three. We have an idea what our opponent's up to now. Opponent's deck is interesting. I will give it interesting for sure. All right, run it back. We're on the play. <laughs> About it. Please stop top decking everything you need. We get to play first. I mean, we're going to keep this. The sand is okay, but we definitely need to draw another land. Opponent, tap land, not a land. We'll run out Thalia past the turn. Lands! Lands, magic god, lands. Opponent plays a swamp. That's the furthest thing in our deck from a land, but we'll play a Valiant Veteran. Go attacking. Opponent down to 17. Opponent untaps. Removal spell number one. Land? We do draw the land. We'll go to combat attack. Opponent takes it. We would like to draw many lands, considering we have all these reconstructions now. Opponent, Thran Spider. Looking familiar. This reminds me a little bit of uh, of last game for our dear opponent here. Uh, well, run out the reinforcements. We do draw a land, so play the land. Pass the turn. Opponent. Yeah, let's just kill Shield Red. Untap. Run out Gavany down guard. Although the problem with this is our opponent can just Brotherhood end away our board. Opponent. Does have the Brotherhood end. Does Wrath away our board. We draw a land. Well, play the land. Kayla's Reconstruction, X2. Well, not, not the best. We did get two things, but two of our least impactful things. And... Boy, they keep getting this exact same draw. Thran Spider passes. We draw a land. Well, Kayla's Reconstruction. X3 this time. Brutal Cathar. Brutal Cathar. Siege Veteran. Well, get rid of the spiders. Get rid of the spiders. Go to combat. Counter on a Brutal Cathar. Do we even attack? Yeah, get him with the commando. Gotta expect our opponent has more removal. So if they kill a Brutal Cathar, they get back a spider, but we can kill the spider. All right, well, I guess we just blow up a... Blow up a power stone then? All right, no sweeper! No sweepers! Please, no sweepers. Two cards in hand, what are they? Wow, opponent passes and we get to flip. Oh, that's sweet. How aggressive do we go now? One, two, three, four. Recruitment officer. Get a Thalia. Play the land. Go to combat. Counter on the brute. Go attacking. We'll sack a siege veteran. 
Opponent down to six. Okay, past the turn. Or down to five. Can we close it out? Can we close it out? Opponent adapts. Our stuff's big enough to survive a brotherhood end at the moment. Opponent's down to five. Did we overcome? Did we overcome spider tribal? <laughs> Jun spiders? Jun control? I don't even know. Spiders are a good blocker. Opponent, looking at that power stone. March of Wretched Sorrow X6. Okay, gonna gain back some life. Now we gotta do math. Oh, they get the spider back too. Yeah, that's right. So that can block. Well, I guess this means we recruitment officer. Oh, does that change things? Three, four, five, six, seven. I think that does it. All right, take the commando. I think this works. Oh, there's the reconstruction too, but I think we win, right? So we get to play commando. Blow up the spider. Valiant veteran. Hit you for lethal. Oh, okay. Wow. Those spiders actually were really good against us, but uh, we managed to eke it out just barely. I guess that's a, that's a pretty good win. That's a pretty good win. Opponent's deck is interesting. Spider, I like spider too. I know people think spider is really bad, but against aggro, it is a pretty good blocker. Like it really is annoying for our deck to get through. Soldiers, sweet, sweet. Budget magic time. Doing some more $35 soldiering in standard at mythic of all places. Ooh, all right, we're gonna keep this. Draw some what, double reconstruction. Awkward with Thalia, but Thalia never, rarely, I shouldn't say never, but rarely actually lives. No one drop. Fine with drawing one drops, fine with drawing lands. What is our Uponorino up to? Yeah, all right, double Thalia. Well, that increases the odds of a Thalia living, I guess. An opponent, Junding by the looks. And Blood Eye the Harvest, ah. Sure. Well, land is fine. Run out Thalia. Kill the Thalia land, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Ooh, tap land, okay. Razor Lash Transmogrant. Well, land and... Yeah, I mean, I guess we just keep playing Thalias for now. We kind of naturally host Transmogrant. Opponent is never getting this back on the cheap. Opponent, land, and... Skyfisher Spider. Sacks to Transmogrant. We do draw land, which is nice. Yeah, let's Valiant Veteran. Pass the turn. Probably a... Yeah, we'll see what our opponent does. Discards a land. Well, they're an Epicure. Oh, is this a sack deck? Maybe this is a weird take on sack. Opponent goes to combat. I would like to resolute reinforcements double block, but I think it's too risky. I think we just take it. Because if they kill the Valiant Veteran, then we lose both the soldiers, and then we have nothing. All right, last card, Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Kinda actually just wanna draw land here. All right, that's a land. Well, land. Reconstruction X2, be good. Brutal Cathar, and I think we go Dawn Guard. So we get rid of the token. We smack our opponent for a bunch. If our opponent doesn't cast a spell here, we double flip. And they currently, like, they have zero cards in hand. They can go digging, so they probably find something, but still. Opponent takes it down to 13, untaps. Are we looting? And we have another reconstruction. Wow, okay, so opponent found something. Only, not even sure that's good enough. Opponent, Sax makes a token. So we basically have two turns to win. Opponent has zero cards in hand. Well, I mean, I guess we just reconstruct again. Okay, okay. Double C's veteran's pretty decent. Counter on you. Counter on you. Big attack. I mean, the pressure's on. The pressure is on. We need to pressure because if our opponent can flip this and start doing spider things every turn, we could be in trouble. So we need to pressure enough to kill the spider at least. Blocks, blocks. Wow, this is also fine. So kill them both. We lose the Dawn Guard. Opponent goes to five, but then gains, what, three? And we get a couple tokens. So I think our opponent basically needs to draw Wrath. Opponent flips. They, they need a sweeper. They need a sweeper or we're, I think we win. Transmograte still not coming back. Looking at our board, counting up the damage, scooping it up. And okay, soldiers got there again through the, so many spiders today. What is it with all the spiders? Ah, sack A. Well, commando's in. 
Commando is good against Zach. And then maybe touch? What do we cut is the question. Like, we can go down a couple resolute reinforcements. We can probably trim Athalia. Maybe we go down Valorous stances? We didn't see anything big enough to kill, although it seems likely they have shield red. Although if we do it this way, we have touch the spirit realms as removal. This does make our curve a bit high. I mean, maybe that's fine. You know what, let's let's keep one Valorous stance, go down one more frontliner. That seems reasonable. Let's keep the good times a rolling. This deck's so good. <laughs> and it's only 35 bucks. Not quite as cheap as I would like on Arena. If you ever see a budget magic deck, make sure to check out the article over on mtdgoldfish.com. It's also linked in the description. No one ever sees this because no one reads the descriptions of videos. But let me see if I can find this deck list. But there's all, always a uh, a deck list of upgrades and ultra budget that talks about how you can make the deck even cheaper on Arena or in paper. Uh, but yeah, 20, 24 total rares you can cut the foundries so that's 20 you can cut like athalia so that's 19 you can probably cut a reconstruction that's 18 you can probably get to like 18 ish rares on arena without really losing a ton yeah all right not the fastest hand but double thalia double siege veteran kind of sweet and a brutal cathar a bonus going to six tap land oh all right well let's get things started on turn one recruitment officer this card's so good Teething Wormlet. And will they an Epicure? And triggers the worm. Alright, opponent going off. Well, land and fatly, yeah. And I don't even think we want to attack with double siege veteran in hand. I mean we can get rid of this worm if we have to. Well they're an epicure. Passes. Won't play the land. I think we siege veteran first. Opponents down to two cards in hand. They can find good cards with the blood, but they only have two total cards. And if our stuff dies, we do get tokens now. Opponent, gonna sack a blood, discard. Wow, yo, Ty declares war. Well, grow the Thalia. Are we attacking? Eh, let's wait one more turn. Opponent adapts. What do you got, opponent? Well, this is a cool take on, on Sack. I like the Wormlet. There's a Oni called Anvil. All right, so opponents got their synergy stacking up. Although the bad news for our opponent is, discards their last card, draws a new card. We can just get rid of this wormlet. Oh, that's another way to get rid of the wormlet. We do want to pressure though. How do we do this? Yeah, let's just brutal Cathar. Get rid of the worm. Grow the brutal Cathar. Get it out of cut down range. Get in with the Thalia. Down to 21. Worm's not the worst thing to have under Brutal Cathar. Like, even if our opponent kills it, even if they kill it, they're getting it back reset as a 1 1, which helps. Opponent passes. Well, let's run out Siege Veteran. Grow the Siege Veteran. Grow the Siege Veteran. Get in with Thalia. Oh, opponent takes it. I mean, opponent has sweet synergies, but our creatures are just so much bigger at the moment. They can try it. They can kill a Thalia, I guess, with Blood Tithe Harvester. Opponent, duh, done, done. Mono White Soldiers continue to crush it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, uh, 35 bucks, busted. <laughs> sweet, sweet. Budget magic time. We are playing some Mono White Soldiers. Mythic, somehow, Mono White Soldiers. This hand's pretty good. Definitely need a another land for these Siege Veterans. Siege Veterans, so good. Oh, this deck's so good. All right, what do you got about it? Well, why is this bear in the middle? Get it, get out of here. Uh, all right. Wait, how can you get a bear? How do you get a bear, Pat? How did I miss this? I definitely want the bear. Can I buy the bear somehow? Is that possible? Yeah, I think we get in with the recruitment officer. Normally in these scenarios, when we have reinforcements and the Lord, I think it's better to reinforcements first and then the Lord. Espa A. Well, reinforcements. Make a dork. There's the land. Now this is tough. Do we still Valiant Veteran? Or do we go Siege Veteran? Opponent could have cut down. I guess they're both, oh, this uses our mana better. So if we Valiant Veteran, yeah, let's Valiant Veteran. Valiant Veteran, counter on the reinforcements, hit ya. All right, no cut down. Do you have a sweeper? 
opponent. Oh, if they're playing Esper Legends, they probably don't have a sweeper. If they're just gonna try to play creatures, we're in spectacular shape here. So close to being a Luminarch Aspirant. <laughs> Rafine, sure. Now we definitely Valiant Veteran. And put a counter on the, yeah, on the token. Swing with everything, and opponent's gonna need something pretty good to get out of this. Opponent blocks the Siege Veteran. Takes nine down to five, untaps, and scoops him up. Let's go with the scoops him up. The nice thing is since we have this Siege Veteran, even if our opponent has like Depopulate, we're gonna get three tokens. I guess we're one damage short, but even if they have Depopulate, it's not the end of the world here because of Siege Veteran. I guess, well, yeah, I think that's how we had to do it. Wandering Emperor, sure. Eat the Siege Veteran, I assume. Okay, so a land is lethal. Cause we mean Brutal Cathar. All right, yeah, that should do it. Land, Brutal Cathar. Get rid of the Rafine, pay the ward. And kill you. <laughs> All right, well, that was, that was actually pretty easy. That was one of our better aggro draws. Esper, but with a lot of legends. What do we want against Esper legends? So Touch the Spirit Realm seems decent. Let's go down two frontliners, several Thalias, maybe all the Thalias? Esper Legends usually doesn't have that many spells. Touch the Spirit Realm in, Dawn Guard in, Valorous Dance in, Dawn Guard in. Oh, that's so three drop heavy. Is that just two three drop heavy? All right, let's go down one Touch the Spirit Realm. Bring in one Commando? Yeah, let's try it like that. I think that's fine. Yeah, I think Family is kind of weak here. Probably hits on some sideboard cards, but, well, that's, uh, got the Gavany Dawn Guard, so life is, of course, good. Also, some very nice Sunflowery Plains. All we're really missing is a two-drop, and we just have the, more or less, the ideal curve. We haven't really seen Gavany Dawn Guard, like, go super off, but I feel like this card's so underrated. I know I mentioned that before, but when it goes off, it's so good. It is a Mulda 5. I feel like we saw two mulligans. If opponent's on five cards then, <laughs> GG. Five cards on the play, okay. Uh, Well, our odds of winning have gone up greatly. I don't wanna speak too soon because we could definitely still lose, but I mean, opponent can't have that much action if they're on five. Come on, two drop. We'd even take another one drop. Something we can play this turn would be sweet. Uh, opponent, land, but Rutil Cathar, okay. Well, we will just settle with playing all the busted three drops. Seems so good. Rafine would be good for our opponent. We can't just Brutal Cathar it, unfortunately. Not this turn. All right, there's the Rafine. Well, in that case, we will play the land and... Yeah, let's just Dawn Guard. Pass the turn. See if we can get the value train a running. Rafine is a good blocker, but you know our opponent wants to attack with it. I mean, we've seen the Ward 1 be annoying with the Rafine. Dawn Guard does the same thing. Like a three drop with Ward 1. We're seeing it here. Like we couldn't just Brutal Cathar the Rafine because, because of the Ward 1. So even though it's such a low Ward number, it might not seem like much. It's actually like a super, super big upside. Plus who doesn't like throwing cards? Wow, gonna blitz the underdog and try to go aggro. Okay, opponent gets in. This does let our opponent double connive. Grows the Rafine, hits us for quite a bit. Pain land down to 14, no blocks. Down to 15, underdog goes away, opponent gets to draw. I'll play the land. And yeah, I think we just brutal cathar the Rafine. Hit you down to nine. Would love one more land. One more land would be great. Like Siege Veteran into Valiant Veteran. Ooh, that would be so good next turn. Also sets us up for a future Kayla's Reconstruction. Destroy Evil is actually pretty bad against us. Uh, sometimes our creatures get to four power because of Lords, but we conveniently dodge <laughs> most of the, oh, we get the flip. We will draw a card. Oh, this is, this is big, 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 big. I think we take Recruitment Officer here. And we draw on the land. So play the land, play Siege Veteran, play Valiant Veteran, go to combat, counter on Recruitment Officer. And here we come. I mean, Bona Knight needs to have something or they're dead. Even if they kill Moon Rage Brute, they gotta take three and then the Rafine can't really stop anything. All right, Wandering Emperor. 
I mean, this isn't bad for our opponent, but they're gonna need this into like Farewell or something. All right, yep. So he gets back Rafine. Drops to six. But then don't they have to chump block with the Rafine? Unless they can kill the Valiant Veteran. Okay, sure. Well, all right, uh, don't farewell us, please. Dawn Guard doing its thing, flipping again. So good. Resolute reinforcements for future flipping. Do you have it? <laughs> Land for our vote it. Do you have a farewell? Danik. Okay, that's not a farewell. And make a 2 2, you're still dead. Uh, well, Siege Veteran. Go to comp, and opponent scoops up. We're just gonna flicker out the, the Denik. Well, <laughs> that's Monoway Soldiers. $35 of literal bustedness. <laughs> I know, okay, let me let me pull this up. I mean, we're going we're going into wrap up mode. So let me let me pull this up for the wrap up. Just so you can see, cause I know like you never know with a budget deck. We play five matches for the video. We went four and one, which is which is great. Um, but it's a it's a small sample size. It's a small sample size. Sometimes really bad decks go four and one because they get lucky. Sometimes good decks go one and four because they get unlucky. That is the way of magic, but but this is a deck that I've been playing for fun as well. And if you look at this deck, uh, Monoway Soldiers, 14 and one, our one loss was the one to Mono Black that we lost during uh, during Budget Magic. So I went from the bottom of the bottom of Diamond all the way up to, we're at what, Mythic 98% now? With the one loss being that one, we went through Diamond without losing a game. The deck is just like, it's really, really good. 93% win rate, doesn't matter, play your draw uh, the black deck that we lost to we are actually won the first three against it uh and that was a game where we got mana scared and then mana flooded it's really really good it just takes on all comers so i gotta say as far as as far as a budget deck and i know it's a little expensive on arena it's like 20 20 uh 2 24 rares and mythics but it's 35 bucks in paper like that is ultra budget uh so as far as paper goes it's ridiculous and as far as arena goes like yes it's more rares and mythics than i probably would have liked i try to go for 15 for standard budget magics but at the same time if you compare it to standard like grixis 38 rares and mythics asper oh my god Goodness, 66 rares and mythics. Mono Blue is actually cheap. 17 rares and mythics. Rakdosak, uh, 39 rares and mythics. Rakdos mid range, 45 rares and mythics. Uh, Mono Black, I guess, is a little cheaper. 33 rares and mythics. But all this to say, having uh, having 24 rares and mythics is still a lot cheaper than than most tier decks in the format. And I think this is oddly, even though it's 35 dollars, just based on the numbers we we're looking at, 14 and one all the way up to mythic 98 percent just killing all the best decks in the format i think this might actually just be a real deck i've seen people playing blue white soldiers and i don't even know if that's necessary mono white is just so good that i don't even know if you need to be going into blue to add more soldiers to your deck the consistency is so good and mono white pretty much covers everything so uh so yes the other thing i wanted to mention is this deck is a little bit higher as i just talked about as far as arena budget and paper it's dirt cheap uh moto it's perfectly cheap enough to uh, to count as budget on arena is there a way to make this cheaper so i would say this here's what i would do if you want to play it on arena make it as cheap as possible i think you can go down the foundries i don't think we saw foundry do anything during our games there are times where it's very very good there are games actually we had that shielder game where it mattered didn't we um it's one of those cards that one out of every five or ten matches is like super super important to winning a game but the other nine out of ten it doesn't really do anything. So if you're trying to get down the total numbers of rares and mythics on Arena, I think cutting Mishra's uh, Foundry, that's step number one. You can go down one of those. Otherwise, you can do a little bit of trimming. Like, you can go three Thalias instead of four Thalias. You can go three Kayla's Reconstructions instead of four Kayla's Reconstructions. On the other hand, there's a lot of cards you can't cut. Like, Brutal Cathar... It's an on tribe. It's an on tribe removal spell. There's just no replacement for it. Siege veteran and valiant veteran. Those are the two huge payoffs. Uh, and then Thalia. I think going down to none of them would probably be a problem. But maybe you got to to be like super ultra budget. And then Kayla's reconstruction is another card. I guess you could trim down, but I think it's really good in the deck. If you want to try to go super budget, though, here's what I would do. I would go down the Thalia's, even though I think Thalia's good. 
I would sadly go down the reconstructions, even though I think reconstructions are good. This would put us at what? 12 rares and mythics, which is that's super cheap on arena. That's cheap enough, I think, to count his budget. And then I would use those spots probably on Cathar Commando and then Cathar Commando and then the rest of the Gavany Down Guards, which is a card I'm super impressed by. So I'd probably go something like that. And then for those last two slots, remember we're only at 12 rares and mythics right now. I would add back in two Kalos Reconstructions or two Thalias. Take your choice, whatever you got in your collection. That'll put us at 14 total rares and mythics. Uh, fill in the rest of the sideboard, toss in a little bit more removal or whatever. More Lauren's Escapes can be really good in some matchups. So that's probably what I would do if you were playing on Arena. And I think that gets you down to like 14 rares and mythics. And the deck not quite going to be the 14 and 1 Cruise to Mythic version. But I think it's going to be close enough, especially if you're playing at the lower rarities, playing casual, that it still should be very, very strong strong, even with 14 rares and mythics. And then if you start winning with it, hopefully you hit some individual card rewards and some packs, and maybe that'll let you build into the fir uh, the full version. But anyway, that is $35 mono white soldiers. Accidentally broke standard, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. The deck worked way better than I expected it to. And it feels like a absolutely super real legit deck. And I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if we see something very similar to this popping up uh, in competitive play as a tier deck in the near future. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, we talked about making the deck cheaper on Arena. You don't need to make it cheaper in paper. Uh, 35 bucks is about as cheap as you're gonna get a deck that's this good in paper. On the other hand, I don't think there's a ton to do if you go non-budget. Stuff I would consider like uh, maybe a couple Wandering Emperors in the sideboard could be good. That could be an option that's worth considering or like Big Elspis, something like that for the control matchups. Although, honestly, Gavany Dawnguard has been so good in that slot. I don't even know if it's worth it, but I don't think there's a ton to do. Mana base, you can add in a couple of Janos or one of Janos, a free roll, the, the white channel land. So there's some things you can do around the fringes, but this is another one of those decks that it just happens to be really cheap. So without like just trying to force expensive cards into this deck, I don't think there's any huge updates to make if your budget is unlimited either. Like I said, try a couple Wandering Emperors maybe, but really there's not a whole lot to do there. So it just happens to be a $35 deck that is kind of busted and crushing all the best decks in standard. So anyway, that is Mono White Soldiers. $35 Mono White Soldiers at Mythic, killing everyone in our new standard format. That's been our budget magic for this week. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon.